Peace family, welcome back to our credit hitting channel. So today we're going to be discussing with you how you can find and detect what's called a debt collection scammer. And what is this? So these are really crooked individuals who are looking to make money off of trying to press those who owe debt to actual collection agencies and creditors to basically pay them instead. And what they try to do is they try to use different uh, means and strategies to go about to basically get the person to pay them. So today we're going to be discussing how you can detect these particular scammers and deal with them accordingly. What they'll try to do is they will actually try to use vulgar language um, to try to go ahead and get you to pay the debt. Now you may say, well, people actually do that? Yes. Now I'm not trying to be prejudiced, but for those who, there are people who live in the East, um, you know, such as the Indians, not all, but many of them, when they try to call, they will try to use some type of vulgar language um, or be very disrespectful um, to get the person to try to pay the debt. You have to be very mindful of that. That's one of the easiest ways to detect them, um, but it happens and people will actually fall for them. So what they'll do is that they will actually try to repeatedly harass the consumer with phone calls. So typically debt collection agencies, they don't call you time and time again. They don't call you all throughout the day. Why? Because they understand that according to federal law, they're not supposed to do that because that's considered harassment and they can be sued for it. So if you're getting calls all day long um, and even on the weekends, you should know that that right there is a scammer trying to collect money from you. Lying about the debt you owe. Now, there are scammers that are out there that say, for instance, if you owe $500, and they'll call you for that particular debt and they'll say, well, you owe $479. And then you look at you know, your bill and you say, well, I don't owe that much, I owe a little more than that, but you don't wanna let them know. Well, if their numbers are off and most time the scammers, their numbers are off, then therefore you will know that it's a scammer trying to collect money from you. Sometimes they'll say that you owe more and you'd be like, well, how can I owe more um, if I've already talked to them and they told me that I owe this much. Well, that's how you know that you're dealing with a scammer. They will contact you outside of work hours. So if you, if you have a debt collection agency or a quote unquote creditor, which is typically a scammer, that are trying to call you outside of the hours, which is if they're, if they're calling you after 8, 8, 8 p.m. and 9 a.m. or 9 a.m., therefore you know that you're dealing with a scammer. Why is this? Because the according to the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act, collection agencies know that they cannot call you and try to collect debt outside of this particular time frame. Therefore, if you're receiving calls after 8 p.m. and before 9 a.m., you're dealing with a scammer six trying to contact you at your workplace when your workplace does not uh, basically permit for any type of collection agency to reach out to you. That's how you know that you're dealing with a scammer. If your supervisor or employer is basically letting you know that you have a collection agency that's trying to get a, a debt from you, you know that you're dealing with a scammer and you're gonna have to let them know that that it's a scammer and do not answer their phone calls and please block them. So make sure that if you have any type of collection agencies trying to reach out to you at your workplace to notify your supervisor so they can take care of it accordingly. Contacting people who are outside of the collection agency a creditor or the credit bureaus about your debt. So if you have people that are trying to say, for instance, contact your son or your daughter or or your your wife or anybody who for one is not even referenced on the on the debt that you owe or on the contract that you sign, you're dealing with a scammer because they're not supposed to be contacting anybody outside of the three that we name, including yourself, which is the fourth entity or individual about your debt so if you have anybody that is trying to contact those who you know or maybe those who don't even know you um, about your debt you're dealing with a scammer so there are many different scammers that are out there who are trying to basically uh, prey on people such as yourself who may owe debt and yet they're trying to take advantage of that particular opportunity so be very, very mindful of these particular situations because you don't want to put yourself in a sticky situation, whereas you're paying someone 
money that doesn't even belong to them and yet you're losing money and now you just finally realize that you have been scammed and trust me scamming is at an all-time high due to COVID. so you want to be very very mindful of that and we want to be able to teach you and let you know about the various ways that you can avoid being scammed now lastly anytime a collection agency will try to collect debt from you they're not going to try to go about these methods typically before they even try to collect the debt from you they're going to reach out to you via letter mail that's mostly how they do it because they know that to stay in accordance with the fair credit reporting act and the fair debt collection collection practices act they're not going to try to say for instance harass you or contact your job or contact those you know they're going to try to reach out to you via letter mail to let you know that well this is the debt that you owe um can you make a payment etc and also if they can reach out to you and contact you that way then what they'll do is that they'll try to call you and if they try to call you what i would recommend that you do is don't answer the reason that i will say don't answer is because you don't want to say the wrong things and put yourself in a sticky situation and this is where credit healing comes in because we can coach you and let you know exactly what you should and shouldn't do when you're dealing with a collection agency because we've had many many people that they have come and contact us and say man i wish i would have known that at first you know i wish i would have known that before i reached out to you all so we want to let you know that before you do anything in regards to paying debt or even making any type of agreement with the collection agency reach out to us and we'll be able to help you all right family so if you have any questions feel free to reach out to us at contact at credithealing.org if you're ready to start healing and building your credit go to www.credithealing.org peace